The rank system in Overwatch 2 is in complete shambles. Many players, including myself, are just a little frustrated with the way that the system is currently running. Right now, there is zero indication on how you're actually performing, and you're really unsure where you're going to be placed after each card. Besides what it tells you in the ranked information, no one really knows where they're going to be placed. To briefly explain, there is eight different skill tiers. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Masters, Grand Master, and Top 500. Each of these ranks here are separated by whichever role you choose to queue in, whether it's support, tank, or DPS. And within these tiers, there are subdivisions that go from 5 to 1. And in order to rank up between these subdivisions or the tiers, you need to win 7 games or lose 20 matches. This means you can go anywhere from 7-0 and to 7-19, and anything that falls in between there. The way the system previously used to work is it had something called SR. I didn't play Overwatch 1, so I'm not going to go too in-depth on it, because I know you players will rip me apart if I get something wrong. At its core, after every match, you would accrue SR. And once you reached a certain SR threshold, you would rank up. What this did is it showed instant progress on how close you were to another rank or how close you were to even deranking. For me, this feels like something that would motivate me knowing that if I just gain this little bit amount of SR, then I know that I'm really close to ranking up. But I do know that some players, if you lose SR, this can put you on tilt. And in many cases, this can lead to like unsportsmanlike play or toxicity. I understand that there are a few drawbacks to this, but I think it's more important to show how good someone is doing or how poor someone is doing instead of worrying about the new nuances in between. Because after you finish play your rank game, sometimes you can even remain the same rank. Here you can see Somju says that he stayed Masters 2 five times in a row. And it wasn't until he went 7-0 where he went from Masters 2 only to Masters 1. Now understand that it's possible that he could have gone to Masters 1, but you would imagine after being there five times and then going 7-0, that you probably would have gotten to Grand Masters by then. And again, because it doesn't show you any sort of SR or any sort of point system to show you how close you are to even ranking up, it makes it very arbitrary and very misleading. I've seen some users say that the SR system is active in the background, but from many Reddit posts, it makes me believe that just isn't the case. This thread comes from user hoax666 on Reddit, and it reads that they've deranked after winning 21 games in a row. Four days ago, they were on a loss streak and they lost probably close to 10 matches in a row and they got demoted from Masters 5 to Diamond 3, which was expected. Then the next day, they won seven in a row, didn't move ranks at all while they were Diamond 3. Then the next day, they win all seven games in a row again. So now at this point, they are 14 and 0 while being at Diamond 3. And then on the next day, they win seven more games with just one loss in between and they get demoted from diamond three to diamond four now i thought i was tripping when i went seven four and got demoted i thought maybe i just performed bad or maybe i didn't actually go seven four but from what i could remember it was seven four but then i see this twitter post saying that they won this many games and only lost once and still demoted in my mind you cannot convince me that the sr system is alive in the background and i think that's honestly just a theory that people made up because if the SR system still existed, this would not be happening. In a different post, the Red Rider 4 states that he went 7-3 and he stayed the same rank. So this is consistent with what has been happening to me as well. He also mentions how people said that the SR system is alive in the background, but it honestly just that doesn't make any sense to me. Another issue plaguing the rank system right now is players are getting matched in ranks or against ranks that they shouldn't be. If you ever have any games where you feel like your team is just getting rolled and the other team is just way better than you, it kind of feels like quick play at times. It's possible that you're getting paired up against players that are just much higher ranks than you. And currently, every profile is default to private, so you can't even double check to verify the ranks of your opponents because most people have just left their profile set to private. Like check out this clip from Warren where he gets a teammate that knows he should not be in the lobby that he's in. And you can see that neither of them are really having that good of a time. Oh, I feel so bad for this guy, but also it's like, I feel bad for me. Like, I haven't played comp in so fucking long, How man. long? How long are we talking, homie? Like, two years? Okay. Why the fuck am I playing in top 500 games? No, this is not top 500. This is like, this is probably like low masters. Now, Warren was cool about it, obviously, because he knows that it's not the other player's fault. But at the same time, this ruins the experience for not only him, but also his teammate who believes that he shouldn't even be in the game that he's in. And then you have this tweet from SVB who says, hate to be that guy, but the game of Overwatch feels as good as it ever has. And yet, sadly, the matchmaking feels as bad as it ever has. He even says in the death days of Overwatch 1 when they had plats in top 500 lobbies, it felt more balanced than it does now. And honestly, as someone who comes from Apex, I feel like what they're doing is they're just pushing people into lobbies in order to reduce queue times. 
which is really weird to me, especially since Overwatch just hit 35 million players. Like, granted, a good amount of those haven't unlocked competitive yet. And even if they have, they're not even going to be close to the top ranks. So, as a way to alleviate queue times for the higher ranking players, it's possible that they're just reducing the queue times by placing players in mid-tier lobbies and lobbies that maybe they shouldn't be in. A few things that I would do to fix this is show the estimated rank on where you'll land based on how you're performing. So maybe just give us like some arbitrary or nuanced indicator showing if you continue at this same pace, this is where you'll end up landing. Doing it this way at least would show us some sort of progress. That way when we're playing, we don't feel like we're not making any at all. Secondly, is the most obvious that they could just go back to SR. As I said earlier, I didn't play Overwatch 1, but from what I've seen in the comments and in my chat, Nobody really had any complaints about it. And if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments below. But in every competitive game I've ever played, it showed you how you were doing after each game. They could also, if they want to keep the same rank system, they could also just simply change the way the cards work. Instead of doing seven wins or 20 losses, maybe they could do five wins and 15 losses. The only issue with this that I have is it's possible that you could still remain the same rank and that might even happen more often. So one thing they could do to alleviate this is give people bonuses for getting win streaks. Giving people a bonus for win streaks, they can honestly continue running the seven wins and 20 losses or go to the five wins and 15 losses. And maybe while you're queuing, they could even add like some sort of flame indicator around your queue time showing that you're on a hot streak. Doing absolutely anything to incentivize and reward good play or good players is going to be better than what we have now. I'm sure this is something that they're actively working on and will eventually fix. But what are your thoughts on the current rank system? And do you think it should change or should it remain the same? If you enjoyed today's video or found any of this information helpful, please leave a like on the video as this helps boost it in the algorithm. And if you want to see more Overwatch content, smash that sub button and I'll see you guys in the next video.